שם השם נעשה ונצליח, זה הכל. Good morning, רבותיי. בוקר טוב, to everybody. We're dedicating the shiur לעילוי נשמת דבורה פייגה בת שמואל, אין אורה דבורה בת שמואל. רוח השם תנחי מגני עדן. There was a rabbi by name רבי ישראל מסלנט. רבי ישראל מסלנט was the one and only that started the whole תנועת המוסר, the whole movement of מוסר in the world of the yeshivot. רבי ישראל מסלנט started it. Besides being a gaon in the Torah, but every single midah how to care about, like the Mesirah de Sharim writes down in the, in the um, introduction of his book. He says, Rabotai. <clears throat> every single learning of Torah is great. Every single mitzvah is super important. But says the Mesirah de Sharim, if the person doesn't give importance, to his midot, to his qualities, to change his negative uh, 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 temptations and midot, this person with all the Torah that he learned is not going to help him to Olam Abba. That's what he writes. So there is a story of Rabbi Sami Salant, why he decided to start the whole movement of Musar. Listen to the story. He said that in his city, there was a fellow that he was a regular, um, how you call it in English, sandlar, shoemaker, shoemaker. <clears throat> regular shoemaker. Baruch Hashem, God help him out. And by being a regular shoemaker, people started to go by him, to, to him a lot. He started to make a lot of money. He opened up different, different stores. And he became one of the most richest people Amen. in the city. So, days pass. And one day, Baruch Hashem is about to marry his son, his daughter, whatever. Everybody was so excited. It's going to be an amazing wedding. The guy have mashallah, money, no limits. He's going to do a big stuff, big thing. People were preparing for the wedding. And then there was one, one man that this man, this man was a little bit jealous. You know, he saw how this rich guy is about to make a huge event. He said, I'm going to ruin him the event. How am I going to ruin it? He's going to come in the middle of the wedding with a bag of shoes. That was his plan. The night of the wedding came, and he comes with the shoes in the bag. He takes, he approaches the father of the kala, <clears throat> and he tells him, "Tell me something." And he takes out the shoes. Can you fix it to me? What an embarrassment! Was exactly the moment that everybody was watching him. In two words, to tell him, "Who are you? You're nothing." You're a shoemaker. Yes. True story. The other men, the rich, the rich men, took it so hard, and he got a heart attack in the moment. Mamash. He fell down, and he passed away. Finished the career. When Rabbi Salam Salant heard the story, he said. Right now, I am opening Tnuat Musar. And he says, Rabbi, cases like, uh, you know, people like this guy that may suffer the other one, there are many. He says, I'm not opening the Tnuat Musar because of the person that embarrassed the other one. Uh-uh. I'm opening the Tnuat Musar because how come that a person by getting his kavod down, he can get a heart attack. That means that people can live with gava. People can live with honor all their life. And if you take a little bit of the honor out, that's it, they have no more life. That's a monk of Musar. And, and if the person doesn't have Musar, those cases can happen a lot. 
We don't see all the fights that there is in the world. All the wars that exist in the world is only kavod. Only kavod. You have this president say to this president like that, and you're not going to tell me, and be careful, and you touch the, the drone, and I don't know what, the plane, whatever, disrespect. And everything is coming from without kavod. Rabotai, Chachamim are teaching us something amazing. The Rambam writes, listen carefully what the Rambam says. Say the Rambam, a person who is koes, a person who is getting angry. The Rambam writes, Chokhmato mistaleket mimenu. His Chokhmah, all what he knows, all what he have learned, all the experience that he got, the wisdom, is getting out in second by getting angry. The Rambam writes a whole list of bad things that are happening to the person who is getting angry. Things that we know that no one wants to hear him, no one wants to respect him anymore. People are having fear and they do it just because of fear. The Gemara says about a rabbi, and the Gemara gives a, a line, says, uh, says the Gemara, Le'olam, always a person should not be tough in his house. Why? Says the Gemara, there was a rabbi that he was very tough in his house. And his wife and the kids were scared from him. One day, by mistake, whatever, they did a wrong shechita to the chicken, right? And the wife, huh? there was an ida. There were two cases, I, I, I believe. And Bar Minani was about to make an isur de oraita only because, only because they were so, they were, they were having such a fear from this, uh, from this husband that they didn't want to tell him what was the problem. Rabotai, kas comes from gaava. Kas, the anger comes at the moment that I feel that I am the most important person in the world. How Lafayette, you heard about Lafayette, goy. He said, when you scream, people hear you. When you, when you talk, people understand you. That's a huge line. How many times we scream and we scream, and the other one doesn't want to hear. How a father said, you know, sometimes I, I said to my kid, go, go to sleep right now. Or go to uh, take a shower. And the kid says no. And at that moment that the kid says no, Let's be honest, how the father feels. He's going to tell me, no, I'm going to teach him, I told him to go to sleep right now. And th that's not called education. That's exactly the opposite. At the moment that a father hears from his son, little son telling him, no, the father has to understand, yes, who I am and why he will have to hear me if he doesn't want to go to sleep. I'm not much more important than him. Chachamim compares a person who is being able to forgive about this gava and to become anav. Chachamim are telling us this person is considered like air. Take a knife and try to stab the air. There is something? Nothing. Va'anachnu ma. What's ma? Ma, when you take out the hay, it's hair, right? There is air. There's nothing. At the moment that a person feels nothing, so whatever you're doing to me, it's not going to cause me anything. I'm not going to feel bad because someone put me down. You know, I'm not better than him. But Rabotai, oh, I want to share with you an interesting story before, before I go on. Enough. Enough. Takes out the cars. In the Tevila also, to the Mikveh, the people that are going to the Mikveh, one of the Kavanot is to take out the cars. Of... Anyway, there was a, a Jew, a girl, I'm sorry, that she, <coughs> in Israel, she cleans up houses. Helps out, you know, like a maid, but not a whole day maid. A lady, cleaning lady, young lady. She was working by two different families. She said, Unbelievable. Each one family was exactly the opposite of the other family. Family A, ah, what a family. Atzilut, 
What a midot. They never, you know, tell me in a, in a rough way how to, how to clean everything with their cheretz. Ta'anu to work by them. The other family, the other side, other extreme. Every single uh, dirt that it was, it was screaming at her, you're not cleaning correctly, blah, blah, blah. What she can do, her partner son. She said that one day, she's in the house of family B, the tough family. And, and I forgot to tell you that in all the family, there was one that was the head of all the Balagan, the oldest daughter. The oldest daughter, what a midot bar minan. One day, she comes to clean up the house of family B. And the Baalat Abai tells uh, the cleaning girl, listen, I want you to clean shining the house today. Shining. Today, our daughter, she's going to go to, the, to her first shidduch in the house. You know, in Eretz Israel, the religious families, at least the first times that they meet, you know, in a, in a, a humble way, to do it in the house usually. So the boy is going to come and, uh, you know, got to be clean. She was thinking to herself, Barminan, the poor boy, he doesn't know where he's entering. Yeah, haram. Anyway, what she can do, she can, uh, she can clean up the house. Two days later, she's going to the other family, family A, and the Balatabai tells her the same thing. I need you to clean good the house because our son is going for Shiduch and the girl is coming. So uh, she asked, tell me something. I'm sorry that I'm asking. It's that the first date that he's going out? So no, it's the second date. He already went to the house of the girl and today the girl is coming to the house of us, to our house. She says, I'm so sorry to ask you. I just wanted to know uh, the family is from the area. Da, da, da. He understood very well that the girl is the girl from family B. She said, I don't know how to say it. But I know both of the families so well. And listen, it's not going to be good for him. Haram. True case. This cunning lady, girl, decided to do an act. What's the act? After the, and the second time that they date, at the third time, they were about to date in a hotel, in the lobby of a hotel. Where? In Tel Aviv, in the Hilton. That was the, the place. She heard that, the cleaning girl. She spoke with one of her cousins. The cousin is a very, he knows how to act very good. He waited until the couple came and he made himself as a waiter. He came to the place. He says, yes, how can I help you? What can I uh, offer you? She said, I would like a, cu a cup of Coke. No problem. What about you? She said the same. He leaves. He's not going to go to the lobby to ask. He's not a waiter. He went to the car. He told to his uh, cousin, okay, that's what they said. I mean, what? no problem. We're going to get them Coke. She was already prepared with all the drinks, cold Coke, whatever. She poured it in a, two cups with a plate. with a. And the boy, he knew how to act it. In the middle of serving it, it split, down, it split out. How do you call it? Spilled. Spilled. Spilled, spilled it on. Not on, not, not on her, on the table. What can I tell you? The girl... She saw that, and all the anger, yalla, she saw the same hole. She started to yell at him. You don't see what he's doing. What's going on with you? Look at this, that the, the disaster. The other boy, <laughs> he sees the girl like that acting. He says, it's okay, no one got dirty. It's okay, relax. And no. And you know, once the car started, you cannot, you cannot uh, control it. Thank you, Hazak Baruch. Like, like the Ariza writes down, unbelievable Ariza. Says the Ariza, the moment that a person, no, sorry, yeah.
At the moment that a person gets angry, he writes that the neshama of the person is a zohar. It's not that easy. At the moment that a person gets angry, the neshama of that person goes out. Right now, it's not him. It's not him. It's another person. It's another ruach that is coming inside the person. And therefore, he said at that moment, the whole balagan started to finish up the dating. The cleaning girl, she went one of the days to work in the family A. And she asked the mother, how is the shidduch going? And the boy said, no, it's not for us. It's not the, the type for it. You know, she said, Baruch Hashem. Ha, Adam Nikar, a person you can check him out in three things. Bekiso, Bekoso, or Bekaso. You got to be careful. Check it out. If the person is an anger person, or he's a stingy person, or he's a drunk person, go away from him. Why? When there is one of these things, Yetzirah comes up and he can control everything. Baruch Adonai Olam.